Rajkot, January 7th, Surya Kumar Yadav's blistering unbeaten century, 1-1-2 not out of 51 balls, powered India to a mammoth total of 228 fifths against Sri Lanka in the third and final T20 I of the series at the Saurashtra Cricket Association Stadium, here on Saturday. With his beautiful wristy shots, Surya Kumar made the opponent team feel like he isn't from the same planet, treating every bowler with disdain. Apart from him, Shubman Gill played a decent knock, 46 of 36, while Rahul Tripathi gave India some quick-fire runs in the power play with his 35 of 16. After winning the toss and opting to bat first, India lost the first wicket early as Ishan Kishan poked outside off an edge behind a swinging bouncing delivery from Madhushanka in the very first over of the innings. Kishan's opening partner Shubman Gill also struggled to open his account for the first nine balls before he smashed Madhushanka for six and four in back-to-back -back deliveries to get things going. Rahul Tripathi, who walked into bat at number three again, showed his attacking intent by hitting Tikshina for three fours in an over. He smashed five fours and two sixes in his blistering innings of 35 of 16 balls to give the much-needed impetus to Indian innings. He got out, cutely steered the ball to third man and found the fielder in the sixth over. Nonetheless, Tripathi's innings meant that India finished the power play at 53 halves, which was good after they lost Ishan in the first over as Shubman Gill was batting steadily at the other. But, it was Surya Kumar Yadav, who wasted little time to get off the block and toyed with Sri Lanka bowlers by hitting them all around the park. The stylish batter got going with a 4 and a 6 off Karunaratne, driving over mid-off and executing the whip pull. He also cracks a short ball from Hasaranga past point for a 4. Tikshina sneaked in a quiet over but the visitors couldn't keep Surya quiet for too long. A 4 coming down the track to Karunaratne followed by a typical scoop over fine leg for a 6 for Surya Kumar helped India past 100 in the 11th over, and also brought up his half-century stand of 29 deliveries with Gill, who was watching the ball sail over the boundary line from the other end. A boundary over extra cover brought the 14th T20I half-century for Surya Kumar in just 26 balls. It was also Surya's 9th 50-plus score, including a century, in his last 15 innings as India were 131 halves after 13 overs. After watching the Surya Kumar carnage from the other end, Shubman Gill too decided to free his arms and hit Hasaranga for an 84 meters 6 over mid-wicket. However, the spinner had the last laugh as he deceived Gill by the length and bowled him, leaving India at 163-3 to after 14.4 overs. Once Gill got out, the stage was set for finisher Hardik Pandya but the skipper couldn't capitalize on it and got out for just 4 runs. The next batter Deepak Huda started his innings with a 4 but got out soon on a cutter from Madhushanka. But, there was no stopping Surya Kumar, who slammed his third T20I century in 45 balls, which was the second fastest half century by an Indian in the shortest format of the game after Rohit Sharma, who got the milestone in just 35 deliveries against Sri Lanka as well in 2017. On the other hand, Aksar Patel, 21 not out of 9, continued from where he left in the previous game and played a little cameo towards the end. With both Surya Kumar and Aksar hitting, India scored 28 runs in the last two overs and posted a total of 228 fifths in 20 overs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.